we have seen uh, an example of a homogeneous system with infinite solutions. And we saw how to write those solutions down. Now let's look at a non-homogeneous example. We'll start with a theorem. And this theorem is going to make things seem much more complicated than they actually are. So I'll read this to you, but then we'll do an example. And you'll see that things aren't really as bad as all of that. Every non-homogeneous system has an associated homogeneous system gotten by turning the numbers on the right of the equalities all to zero. A non-homogeneous system with infinitely many solutions has a solution set of the form P plus V sub H, where P is a solution to the non-homogeneous system, and V sub H is the solution of the associated homogeneous system. And as promised, let's move right into an example. Let's solve this system of linear equations. We'll do this in the familiar way. We'll write down the augmented matrix. And we'll perform Gauss-Jordan elimination. As usual, I'll do that off camera. If you're following along on your own calculator, note that I changed this one to a negative one in this example. And here's what we get. Um, there is a free very well, first of all, there are solutions. We should start by making that observation because this is non homogeneous. There's no guarantee that solutions exist. Um, solutions exist as long as the last column is not a pivot column, though. And that's true. The pivot columns are the first column and the second column. So solutions do exist. And we have a free variable, which means we have infinitely many solutions. And let's look at what these are, what these um, rows are telling us. This first row says that X plus Z equals negative seven. The second row says that Y equals six. This third row says, rather unhelpfully that zero equals zero. And now we're going to deal with this the same way we dealt with the homogeneous example, which if you don't remember, we did two things. First, we brought our free variables in this case, our free variable, we only have one over to the right. X equals negative seven minus Z. 
y equals six. And the second thing we did was introduce an, ex um, an equation for our free variable z equals z. And now we're going to buffer this with zeros. So we have a constant, a constant. We don't have a constant here, but we can write in zero. We have a Z term, a Z term. We don't have a Z term here, but we can write one in. And the point of doing this is that it lets you write a vector vector equation, x, y, z equals negative seven, six, zero, plus, and here we'll pull that to z out, negative one, zero, positive one. And here's our solution set. And Z is free. It can be any real number. And different values of Z give you different solutions. So this is in fact an infinite solution set. And you'll notice that we solved this system of linear equations without any reference to this monstrous theorem that we started the video with. But let's now look at what this theorem is saying. This theorem is saying that our solution should be of the form P plus V sub H, where this negative seven, six, zero, is a solution to this system of linear equations. This system of linear equations has infinitely many solutions. This is one of them. And what was that I was saying about associated homogeneous systems? Well, this is a solution to this. This is a solution to this homogeneous system. In particular, to the homogeneous system we get by taking this and turning this, this, and this into zero. But, and I cannot stress this enough, that's not how we solved this hom non-homogeneous system. We solved this system like we would solve any system using Gauss-Jordan elimination. And then we wrote down the corresponding equations. We took stuff over to the right and we wrote our solution down. So this theorem is not a solution technique. That is to say, it's not something we use to solve non-homogeneous systems. It's just a true statement. 
bit about non-homogeneous systems. The solution we got did have this special form where this is a solution to that and this is a solution to that. 